Hi, let's today draw this drawing that you see in front of you. So this one here, we've done it in the past, but I think today we're going to use a new approach and the easier one. So we're going to start there. We're going to go new metric, standard millimeter, and we go create. Don't worry about that. So once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to go on sketch day, and then we use a rectangle. I think it's gonna go faster. Then we use uh, we choose our drawing plane. Those one gonna be Z Y. Once we have our drawing plane, there you're gonna start with our acting. <coughs> Sorry for that. So we need to make sure that's one here. Okay, that's one they need to be uh, 56. Okay, that needs to be 56. And this one here need to be 75. That need to be 75. So now I need to make sure from the up to the that need to be half of 75 which is uh the 37 sorry 37.5 got great so once we have those one in place what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to pull my rectangle a little bit you know the side there because i need some space there for something that we're gonna discover in this drawing so the next thing I need to do is to draw this line here. So this line here is going to help me with some guidance. Then what I'm going to do next is I want to make sure this line here is parallel to that one. It will be parallel. It is parallel. So then I'm going to draw those circles. So that is my first circle. Okay. That is my first circle. And then come my second. Come my third. Here again, almost the first, second, and third. I come here again. So first, second, and third. So then what I need to make sure about is this dimension. So then from the up to the come on. That one need to be 128. So I need that one to be 128. Okay. Great. And again from the up to the I need that one to be 130. So 130. I got it right. So don't worry about the way it looks there. We're gonna get it fine now. And then I need that one from the up to here. That one need to be half of one. 130 which is 65 65 that's good now so i need to give dimension so this one here need to be uh 48 48 and then the second one need to be 36 so 36 the third one need to be 18 so that need to be 18 come on so that need to be 18 great and this one here need to be 90 90 that's one they need to be 70 okay 70 the following now the following one now need to be 36 so 3 6 great so what am I gonna do now? So I need to make sure that this one here, this one, need to be equal to that big one. Okay. That small one need to be equal to that one. So you can see that this one I can't see properly which one is which, but I'm gonna try my chance. So it's gonna tell me anyway. I want this one to be equal to that one. Ah, I got it right. So that's one need to be equal to that one. So once I have those in place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for this line. So there's my line. So my first line. Then I'm gonna go for my second and my third line, different places. Okay. Now now I need to make sure that this line here is tangent to that circle, right? So we are saying it is tangent, which is great. Okay. So this one here need to be tangent to the circle. I hope it is tangent as well. So that is tangent already. Thank you. And that line they need to be tangent to that circle. It is now nah. this one need to be tangent to that circle. Okay, cool. So now that I have everything in place, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to trim everything that I don't need. So 
I'm gonna go and trim there. So I don't need that spot there. So I'm gonna trim that spot. I'm gonna trim this spot. I'm gonna trim that spot. I'm gonna trim that spot as well. Okay. So I come here again. I trim that spot. I trim this spot. I trim this spot. I trim that spot. I don't need it. Okay. Here again. I trim this spot. I trim that spot. I trim the spot because I don't need it. I trim that one. I trim that. I trim there. All right. So once that is in place, what I'm gonna do is I don't need this line anymore. So this line was for guidance. I'm gonna have to delete it. Keyboard delete. So now I'm gonna go and 3D model. I need to give some dimensions to my drawing. So I'm gonna punch extrude. Okay. Come on, man. Don't be that crazy. So now I'm gonna go there and choose that one. That one need to be uh. 16 right so one sorry one six okay 16 so i see okay then i'm gonna come here i need to see my drawing so i need to see my sketch so i go on visibility i punch visibility i go on td model again i punch extrude so i come here i choose that one i choose that one as well both of them need to go up by 19 okay can you see the where is it can you see this one there can you see yeah so that needs to be 19 so i come back yeah i say 19 19 okay i say okay so i need to have this kind of a tower there okay so that's one day you need to go up by come on sorry i punched the wrong day so extrude again so that's one they need to go up by one one nine so 119 119 that's when you need to go up by 119 they can see it so i say okay again i need this spot here to go up by what 56 so 5 6 5 6 okay so now check out at how your drawing looks like so another thing that you need to do you know you just need to make sure about the dimension from there to there but anyway you could have done it before but uh, we're gonna see how we're gonna deal with that one so now i'm gonna have to draw something that is missing so far so once something missing there so i'm gonna put fillet here so i'm gonna come here i choose that one i want a fillet of what uh need to be 28 so 28 millimeters so 28 millimeter i say okay both sides as well 28 millimeter yes i go apply okay so i go apply so now there's something that i need that is missing there so then i'm gonna have to choose my drawing plane so i'm gonna go for why is it i say new drawing here i'm gonna go for my rectangle so my rectangle needs to start let's say from there okay from there and then up to the all right up to the so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw this line here so this line needs to start from there okay from there up to let's up to there and i want now this line here to be tangent to that so it is tangent now so then i'm gonna go for 3d model i six through then i come the spot here i choose that spot i want it to go but 12 millimeters so 12 millimeter let's see okay 12 millimeter both sides of the plane so that is great when i say okay all right so there is my drawing and another thing that i need now i need to make a new sketch here that new sketch is for that hole that you see there so i come here let me bring it closer I go with a circle and then the circle need to be there. I need to make sure border size. So this one here need to be uh 28 28 sorry so that need to be 28 millimeter great and from there up to the that needs to be um, 50 sorry 28 as well so that need to be 28 as well and from there up to there that needs to be 28 as well so that is 28 great 
So I go through the model, extrude. I click on my circle. Okay. Then let's say that I want it to go both sides, right? So that is bigger. So let's make it put a 100. You see, 100. Both sides. 100 is too small. 900. Great. Both sides. Then I say cut. You can see that for cutting. Okay. okay. So there is my whole day. You can see there is a whole day. More sample. So again, I'm going to come this side here. Right? So this side here, I'm going to choose my drawing plane. So what drawing plane is in there? Let's see. It's XZ, right? No, it's not XZ. No. So it's YZ. So I go there, I say new sketch YZ. Exactly. Then here comes my two circle. So my first one, my second one, and as per job in the drawing, so this one here need to be 48. So one need to be 48. Okay. And the other one need to be 25. So that's one need to be. 25 that's one is 25 and that circle they i mean that center need to be 89 millimeter away from the bottom then i say okay so once the one is placed what you're gonna do now is you go into the model you go extrude so you want this one yeah to go inside it <laughs> not like that though but uh let's put the uh 100 you see 100 okay how's 100 doing that is too much we should have measured that though from the beginning but it's not a big deal so let's see what we have inside there now nah. so we're gonna put 70 great so 70 is inside there eh? okay yeah 70 and then we say okay but then we want it to be shorter this one is shorter mm -hmm. so now look at what we gotta do so we go on 3d model again with 3d model we go extrude we come here oh first we need to put the visibility on so don't worry about that so i'm gonna go here visibility on extrude now so we come here we're gonna cut that spot by 20 millimeter okay 20 millimeter how's 20 looking looking good no 25 25 millimeter that looks great then we say okay and again 3d model again that circle they need to go through okay so we go there we cutting let's say 80 so 80 this other way exactly okay so then now you finish your drawing everything is fine everything is fine you can even put it 88 does not matter you got okay so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the visibility so you're gonna come here come on use a visibility off first catch again visibility off so yeah so here's how your drawing looks like okay you can see everything looks just okay so now if you want to choose the material you're gonna do as uh, you come here generic let's go for stainless steel okay stainless steel stainless steel stainless steel looks shiny so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. And please, and please join our membership so that you can be a member by paying some monthly fees so you can support what we're doing. So take care of yourself and see you on the next video. So touch the bell as well. Bye.